right, welcome back to the Fox's Den. This is the kitchen segment, and we are doing Harry Styles inspired dishes. We are first going to make something he loves. He loves bananas. So we are going to make a chocolate banana icebox cake, and we're going to start off with the ganache first because it has to set. But before we get started, I feel like my head's inside here. Before we get started, I have my co-star, you know, is Lexi, and we have our guest, Jaylene. Jaylene is a student in my class. Say hi, Jaylene. She loves Harry Styles, not as much as I do because I'm obsessed with Harry Styles. Do we I use Harry? Go ahead. I want Harry Styles to be my boyfriend. Bye, Jaylene. I don't know. All right, so, <laughs> so after some technical difficulty, and I, I'm still, my head's still stuck under here. We, uh, okay, so Jaylene, we are, they already heard our story about using Harry Styles in our music. Okay, let's just go with it. All right, so what we're going to do first, Lexi, um, is we're going to unwrap these, and you can unwrap this. We have eight ounces of chocolate. It's roughly eight ounces. It's a little bit shy of eight ounces, but eight ounces it should be. That makes it perfect. I'm going to eat some of the chocolate What is after. it? Exactly 7.5. Exactly 7.5. I'm so. going to eat this after. So we're going to rough chop it. So let me tell you about a ganache. Most of you might know this, but a ganache is simply equal parts heavy cream to equal parts chocolate. You don't want to use an unsweetened chocolate. You want to use a semi-sweet or a like uh, close to a milk chocolate, not a super dark chocolate. And if you use like little baby chocolate chips, they have a setting um, element in them that they use to help them set so I don't know if it'll affect the ganache so we're gonna use this we're gonna give it a rough chop and we're gonna heat it in the pot and we will show you us doing that so let me move this out of the way so they can see do you love it just a rough chop and then Jaylene's gonna take care of that oh, I wanna do it. yeah well then you might chop off your fingers and ganache doesn't have little <laughs> fingers in it, it. See, just a little rough chop to help it melt. That's not fair. You can do other stuff, okay? So, Jaylene, I'm going to give you the knife so you could take care of that. While you're cooking, Jaylene, tell me what one of your favorite Harry Styles songs is. Every single one of them. Okay, so which one do you like the most? Sweet Creature. I do. I love Sweet Creature, too. Or Kiwi. And you love kiwi. That's the one I like the least. And after I listen to that, I have to I have to listen to Two Ghosts because then it's very mellow. It's semi sweet. We are still young. Okay, so now it's going to set. We're not going to touch it because if we stir it too much, it becomes grainy. If you All right, the girls are going to make the banana curd part. So um, it's not all sweet. It has like a sweet a tangy it has like a freshness and earthiness from the bananas then it has different textures from the graham crackers if not it would all feel like a blob and a mush in your mouth so this makes it interesting have a cup and a half of yogurt and you can put that in how about me you will you can do the half cup we're putting it you want to get it all i'll get you a spoon oh here there's a spoon is this banana flavor no this is plain low-fat yogurt this low is making fat. low fat. This is making the uh, the curd. Make sure you get it all in. I love the smell of this. And then we're going to add a <gasps> banana and a half. So it's one banana per cup of yogurt. And since we have a cup and a half, we're going to use a banana and a half. Harry Styles loves bananas. I think Harry Styles would love this icebox cake. As always, we'll have thank you in the description <laughs> below. Okay, this is banana extract. It's real banana, it's not imitation. I had to send away for this. And I'm putting one teaspoon in. Almost didn't. And then we're going to add to sweeten it up just a little bit, some honey. And I am not gonna measure it, but I would say a tablespoon of honey. We're just gonna eyeball it up. And then we're gonna turn it on in the food processor, and we'll show you what it honey. looks like. This then has to chill. Honey. Okay. It smells good. All right, we'll put it on. Shoot. Shoot. 
Oh, wait, how about when I made the beaters shoot across the room? <laughs> we made the ganache and it's been setting and we made the banana curd and it's been chilling and we're about ready to assemble. But first we're gonna make some homemade whipped cream and I chilled the bowl, it's nice and cold. And I also chilled the beater, it's nice and cold. And we're gonna put all of this in there with about two tablespoons of sugar, beat it up, and we're going to take to crumble on the top. We took, what was it? One, two, three, four, four rectangles of graham crackers, and we're gonna crush them in this baggie with the heel of our hand to sprinkle on the top, and then we'll put all of it together and assemble it, and we will show you in a few minutes. Okay. My helper over here, Jaylene, is going to put all of that in there. And I'm gonna go get the sugar. Okay, so we're gonna turn that on and start whipping it slowly. And then we'll increase the speed as we go and we'll scrape the sides. There's yumminess. jiggly texture to it. Now a nice box cake is traditional graham crackers. We're using chocolate. <laughs> Some of the sugar came out. You line the bottom, then you put a layer of like a pudding, but we're putting a ganache and we're putting our, our banana curd and we're gonna put sliced bananas and then we'll keep layering it, layering it and top it off with whipped cream and the sprinkles. And then it's supposed to sit in your refrigerator for a while, a couple hours, and then you should be able to scoop it out. Sometimes if you make it with a, um, like a cookie type of a bottom instead of this, it actually slices out like a cake. I don't know if that's gonna happen with this, but I can guarantee it's gonna be delicious. All right, so I'm gonna talk you through it, okay? I'm gonna put them on the bottom. If they overlap, it's okay. There you go. Okay, you ready? We're gonna put some of the ganache and you can see it truly set. It's thick like fudge. So you're gonna put some of that in there, like a layer of it. Probably gonna use like half, I guess. And it is semi-sweet chocolate, so it is sweet. And you could spread it if you want with the back of that or the spoon. And then while she's doing that, I just have three bananas here and I'm gonna go straight across and cut them into slices. All right, you ready? We're going to line up the bananas. You should use Harry Styles, loves bananas for our part speech sentences. Oh, we can, yes. We use Harry Styles music in our class for figurative language, and we can use him in things about him in our sentences because we're learning about all the parts of speech. You wanna help me line them up? So we're just putting a whole line, covering it all up with bananas. Okay. All right, now we're gonna pour the banana curd in. And now we're gonna do another layer. Okay. Have at it. Yummy. You did a better job breaking them than me. <laughs> Looks so good. Yummy. We need another banana. You think a whole or a half? Half. Okay. We got crazy with the bananas, that's okay. Anything for you, Harry, you love bananas. Talk about, let's see, besides being physically beauty, beautiful, like on the outside, like he has beautiful straight white teeth and this big 
vibrant smile and dimples and thick curly gorgeous hair and he's very tall and muscular besides all of that he's really sweet very mannerly never says anything bad about him no one in the industry says anything bad about him he's a cutie patootie what do you think that's all she says normally you cover this and I have a lid that I can put over this Lots of times it's just with saran wrap and it chills. Look at that delicious Mmm. We'll do a close up too. All right, sprinkle that around. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't have the recording on again, so whatever. I'm going to chill this for at least two hours and then we're going to sample it. Thank you, Jaylene, for joining me. You want to say anything? No? Yeah. She is, usually is very talkative. She's being camera shy, which is okay. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. We look forward to hearing from you. Have A big thank you to Jaylene for helping out in the kitchen today. And as always, the ingredients and directions are in the description below. Enjoy!